The BioUni Osteochondral Allograft Transplant System provides a new and effective treatment option for elongated defects of the articular surface. Choose a sizer that fits best over the defect area and mark the area to assist in identification of the restoration area. The sizer is then placed on the surface of a fresh osteochondral allograft and advanced over the surface to locate and identify a flush fit. Once the harvest locations have been identified and marked, the allograft is secured in the allograft oats workstation. An oblong cutter and insert are acquired from the instrument tray and assembled. These instruments are placed over the marked area on the allograft and a Steinman pin is advanced into the guide pinhole and through the allograft. The impactor handle is attached to the oblong cutter and the assembly is advanced into the allograft cartilage and bone to the appropriate depth. The impactor handle and Steinman pin are removed from the oblong cutter and a distractor tool is utilized to remove the oblong cutter from the allograft. The saw depth guide and sagittal saw guide are assembled and secured together with the impactor handle and placed into the previous cut made by the oblong cutter. This assembly is advanced until the guide is properly seated to the predetermined depth. A sagittal saw is advanced through the saw guide to create the final cut of the replacement cartilage. The new elliptically shaped cartilage allograft is recovered from the saw depth guide and is placed into a donor trial to confirm the size and fit. The sizer is placed over the marked defect area and two drill pins are advanced through the guide holes. The sizer is removed and a scoring device is advanced over the two drill pins and tapped into the cartilage to create a perforation. An oblong socket is now created in the knee to match the dimensions of the allograft cartilage. These are made by placing a drill depth guide over one of the drill pins and advanced firmly down against the surface. The reamer is placed over the opposite drill pin and advanced until the strike plate of the reamer hits the depth stop. A box cutter is attached to the impactor handle and is advanced over the drill pins until it stops at the bottom of the newly created socket. The remaining fragments of bone can be removed with the Horwath elevator or small rangeur. The recipient socket is dilated to compact the bone and prepare it for acceptance of the replacement allograft. The dilator will also mimic the fit of the allograft cartilage in the newly created socket. A power pick can be utilized to create a bleeding bed to assist with incorporation. Demineralized bone matrix, or DBM, should be utilized to fill in any bony gaps and to stimulate new bone formation. The replacement cartilage allograft is placed into the defect and a tamp is utilized to assist with properly seating the allograft. The BioUni Oats technique can be combined with an iBalance HTO to correct for alignment issues.